Mm. Mm. All right. Let's just hope you are not gonna put any spinach on my teeth. Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. So before I get started, I want to say something. I am sick. So if I am sounding a little bit nasally, unfortunately it is what it is. I have to record anyway because I'm going to be busy over the next couple of weekends. So I'm sick. It is what it is, okay? I was out over the weekend with a bunch of people and we were sitting and then it started raining and then when we went to bed, the windows were open and I woke up and I was sick the next day. So unfortunately, this you're going to hear throughout the whole video, but I have to record. I don't really have much of a choice. So anyway, let's get into it. Let's roll it, roll it, roll it, roll it. So earlier on this week, I posted up a picture on Instagram. I'll put it up here. If you're not following my Instagram, why not though? Please do follow my Instagram, jk underscore justcatleo. I'll link it down below as I always do. So I put this picture up linking to a blog post that I had done on an update about my healthy living and healthy eating. So uh, from that, I asked in my Insta snaps if anyone would like me to do a Q&A on the healthy living and healthy eating. And man, I thought I was gonna get like two or three questions, but I ended up getting quite a few. So I thought that, okay, I even asked, would you like me to do it? answer the questions on an insta live or would you like me to do a video with the questions and most people say please do a youtube video so this is going to be my q a to healthy living so if you would like to see this video or see me answering the questions then please wow what a long intro please keep watching so as a little bit of a background story i started healthy eating a year ago so in March 2017 I started healthy eating the reason being because I was starting to feel very sluggish I wasn't happy with the way I was eating I was getting tired I had gained a ton of weight basically I gained a ton of weight I was in denial about it but I would always be reminded every single time I would wear my jeans my jeans were tight and I uh, was struggling to fit into some of them and I had a conversation with a colleague of mine uh, Mercy who was so sweet and told me about because you, we got back to work that January and Mercy looked so good and I was like Mercy girl Ooh. and Mercy actually told me about her eating regimen and how she had gone to visit a dietitian and nutritionist and this and that and the other and I thought you know what it is time for me to get my life in shape it is time for me to get it together and visit a uh, dietitian and nutritionist the reason being I wanted to start eating healthy I wanted to do the right thing I can't sit and eat uh, hamburgers and cheeseburgers and pizzas and whatever all day long and expected not to do anything I'm not those kind of people unfortunately so in March 2017 that is when I started the healthy eating and healthy living journey and ever since it has proved to be great because in um, 10 months of being on this journey I lost a total of like 17.5 kilograms yeah, when I put up the update post to my blog, Just Got Leo, shameless plug, um, a bunch of people wanted me to answer some questions about my healthy living. So, the first question is from Muladelo Magoro. I don't know. I'm sorry if I butcher. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. She says, how long did it take you to lose the weight? Essentially, I started in March and around December time, I had already lost, we're in February now, I had already lost about 16 kilograms, roughly, and uh, then in January, I lost about another kilogram. So we're looking at roughly <clears throat> 10 months, 10 months, give or take, somewhere around there, yep. Uh, summer from love her lipstick you have to follow her channel she is absolutely awesome i love her and literally i'm on a weight loss journey right now so i'm about to get some tips and tricks from your blog post she says how often do you exercise did you mainly do cardio or weight training i don't exercise the only form of exercise i get which i 
maintain and 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 really am strict on is i try to walk even if it means not literally power walking or whatever but that's why i've got this because i want to check my steps every day if i can do like run about 6,000 steps or 10,000 steps a day. I'm really really happy. Um, the reason why is because uh, I can only do certain types of training because of my knee. I can't run, I can't jog, I can't do all those kinds of things because I can literally F up my knee. Uh, so because of that I can only do things like yoga, you know, strength training, that kind of thing and yeah i'm looking to get into yoga but i haven't found a studio that's close to me so that is my plan for this year to get back into yoga i used to do yoga years ago i want to get back into it so yeah uh nokaya asks what are your cheat meals and what keeps you motivated to cook to be honest to be honest <laughs> cheat meals for me are Burgers, I'm like a sucker for burgers. Like if I feel like I really, but the thing is I don't eat just any burgers. I want like a proper, proper wolf pack or Hudson's burger or something like that. Like a really good burger, not just steers or whatever. It doesn't happen often, but those are my kind of cheat meals. I don't really um, eat, I'm not really into sweet things. Something that I really, really like as well are muffins. I love muffins. But like bran muffins. I don't eat any other muffin except bran muffins. Uh, sometimes I'll dabble into a chocolate here and there. But the thing is, it's very controlled. Like I monitor how many, when last I ate a burger and really do I need a burger right now? Mm. And because I'm a little bit more lenient with myself at the moment, I, I will eat, like I'll have a cheat meal once a week, which is for me not a problem. I manage to control it um, that way control my weight and control my eating you know healthy what what that way um, how am I motivated to cook I'll tell you how I'm motivated to cook because I've got it on my phone on my phone I've got this awesome awesome app called um, yumly that's what it looks like and what it is it's got different types of recipes which you can have a look at it's so great because there's recipes for people who are portion controlling there's recipes for people who are on a certain kind of diet there's recipes for people who uh, are vegan like it is so awesome so that's essentially what keeps me motivated to cook because after some time you kind of lose that motivation you're like ah oh, but i can only have so much so much salad but i can only have so much uh, uh, zucchini fries but I can only have so much uh, cauliflower rice but the thing is there's so many ways in which you can make cauliflower rice or zucchini fries or whatever whatever so it's just a matter of finding out the different ways and for me Yamli seems to be the best app that I have gone through and I've bookmarked some recipes that I want to try it's really really awesome so this is what motivates me to cook Yamli tasty just like recipes online that's what motivates me to cook <laughs> moving on to the next question zozo 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 says do you <clears throat> okay zozo says do you meal prep if you do which foods do you prep not really uh the thing about meal prepping for me is that i get bored i don't like to eat the same types of food for three days in a row i don't like to eat the same plate for three days in a row i know that you can when you meal prep like for instance if you meal prep on a sunday you can um cook like different types of uh protein like fish and chicken and beef and then mix it up with maybe brown rice and then have in one um uh what's this uh, box sandwich box you can have whatever but for me it's just mm -mm, I feel like I prefer to cook every single day I like it when it's fresh when it hasn't really sat in the fridge for two days and I have to warm it up for me it's just boring so because I um, bookmark recipes and things like that throughout the week I will then over the weekend go and get the ingredients for those particular recipes and then cook them at home. I don't necessarily cook every single day, but on the days that I don't cook, I've got a plan for what I'm going to eat. Maybe I'll just make an open sandwich. Like if you guys follow me on uh, Instagram, you'll have seen these snaps. An open sandwich with low GI bread, maybe an egg, 
maybe you know some strips of avocado and that's it and that's what I'll have for dinner okay um, healthy snack suggestions okay awesome awesome Woolies has these great nut and fruit and what have you snacks and they even come in really small sizes I forget what they call them if I can find them I'll go onto the Woolies website and I'll put a picture of them here but Woolies has great great snacks um, I actually also like Provitas Provitas are really good for me Rye Vita, Pro Vita, I really enjoy them with a green tea or whatever, you know. Um, the Future Life protein bars or the Quest bars are also really, really nice for snacks. There are just so many, like a list of snacks. I, I don't have them up here with me. I would have to literally bring up my whole kitchen up here to show you. But everything that I'm thinking about, I will probably link down below or I will put a picture of it here so that you guys can see exactly what it is I'm talking about. But we're on a break.